This is the large bead frame multiplication with a three-digit multiplier, and this time we'll be recording partial products for each of the parts of the multiplier. I've recorded the problem, which is 384 taken 245 times on the left-hand side of the bead frame paper. And on the right-hand side, I've expanded the multiple cand to show it being multiplied by each part of the multiplier. So four units, eight tens, three hundreds, taken five times, which is the units place of the multiplier. Then the same multiplicand, four units, eight tens, three hundreds, taken forty times. But as before, it's easier to multiply by four than by forty, so I've moved all the parts of the multiplicand over or multiplied everything by 10 and added the zeros on the paper. When I multiply by hundreds, I notice that I have to add two zeros or move all parts of the multiplicand over two spaces to the left. So 4 becomes 400, eight becomes eight, 80 becomes 8,000, and 300 becomes 30,000 and then I simply have to multiply everything by two. So now I'll do the work on the bead frame, and this time, when I finish the multiplication by units, I'll record that partial product. So first we're multiplying everything by five. Four taken five times. Four units taken five times equals 20, or two tens. Eight tens taken five times. Eight taken five times is 40. 40 tens or four hundreds. 300 taken five times. Three taken five times is 15. 15 hundreds means 1,500. So this is my first partial product. 1,920. And when I record it, I'll start the recording with the units place so that everything is in the right place when I record. So zero in the units place, two in the tens place, nine in the hundreds place, one in the thousands place. 1,920 is my first partial product. When I read the answer, I'll read it from the bottom up, 1,920. Now I'm going to clear the board, clear the bead frame, and multiply all parts of the multiple hand by the tens place, or 40. Because I've done the expansion, I'm going to start with four tens taken four times. Four taken four times is 16. 16 tens is 160. Eight hundreds taken four times. Eight taken four times is 32 hundreds. 32 hundreds. Two hundreds, three thousands. Three thousand taken four times is twelve thousands. Two thousands, one ten thousand. This will be my second partial product. I'll read it on the bead frame and then I'll record it on the paper. It's fifteen thousand three hundred. 60. I'm going to record this partial product, and when I record, remember I always want to start with the units place. So there's a zero in the units place for this second partial product, six in the tens place, three in the hundreds place, five in the thousands place, and one in the ten thousands place. On paper, it says 15,300.
360. On the bead frame, it says 15,360. Now I'm going to clear the bead frame again because now I'll multiply everything by the hundreds place. And remember, the hundreds place is 2, and we've already moved all parts of the multiplicand over to reflect the hundreds place multiplication. So we're starting in the hundreds place. 400 taken two times. 4 taken two times is 8, 8 hundreds. 8,000 taken two times. 8 taken two times is 16, 16 thousandths. And 6 thousandths, 1 ten thousand. 3 ten thousandths taken two times equals 6 ten thousandths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now my third partial product I'll read from the bottom up. It's 76,800. There are zeros in the units and the tens place. I'll record it starting from the units place. There's a zero in the units place. There's a zero in the tens place. Eight in the hundreds place. Six in the thousands place seven in the ten thousands place. So my third partial product is 76,800. 76,800. So I have my three partial products and to get my final product I need to add those three partial products together. I'm going to add them first on paper and then I'll add them on the bead frame and when if my answers on paper and the bead frame match, that will be a check of my work. So on paper, I add the units place, which is 0 plus 0 plus 0 equals 0. Tens place, 2 plus 6 plus 0 equals 8. 9 plus 3 equals 12 plus 8 equals 20. I record the 0 and carry the 2. 2 plus 1 is 3, plus 5 is 8, plus 6 equals 14. I record the 4 and carry 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 7 equals 9. So on paper, my final product is 94,080. On the bead frame, I'm going to create the first partial product, 1,920, zero in the units place, two tens, nine hundreds, one thousand, and to that I'm going to add the second partial product, 15,360, zero in the units place, six tens, three hundreds, oops, I have to do an exchange, one, two, three, five thousands, one ten thousand. And now to that I'll add my third partial product, 76,800. Zero in the units place, zero in the tens place, eight hundreds, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundreds. I have to do an exchange. Six thousands, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven ten thousands. Seven. So on the bead frame, my final answer is ninety four thousand eighty.
on paper, my final answer is 94,080. So these two answers match, and that's my check for this multiplication problem.